Mesothelioma is a rare and aggressive form of cancer that primarily affects the lining of the lungs. Pleural mesothelioma, heart, pericardial mesothelioma, or abdomen, peritoneal mesothelioma. It is primarily caused by exposure to asbestos, a naturally occurring mineral that was widely used in construction and manufacturing industries until its dangers became well known. Treating mesothelioma is challenging due to its aggressive nature, but recent advancements in medical science have brought forth promising treatment options, such as proton therapy and immunotherapy. We will delve into these treatments, their effectiveness, and potential side effects. Mesothelioma Treatment Overview Before we dive into proton therapy and immunotherapy, it's crucial to understand that the best treatment for mesothelioma depends on several factors, including the type of mesothelioma, pleural, peritoneal, or pericardial the stage of the cancer, and the patient's overall health. Common treatment options for mesothelioma include surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and palliative care. Proton therapy for mesothelioma. Proton therapy is a relatively new and advanced form of radiation therapy that is gaining recognition as a treatment option for mesothelioma patients. Unlike traditional radiation therapy that uses X-rays, photons, proton therapy uses protons, which are charged particles. This precision in targeting cancer cells while minimizing damage to surrounding healthy tissues, is what sets proton therapy apart. Benefits of proton therapy for mesothelioma A. Precision Proton therapy allows for precise targeting of cancer cells, reducing the risk of damage to nearby organs and tissues. This is particularly advantageous in mesothelioma cases, where the tumor is often in close proximity to vital organs. B. Lower side effects. Because proton therapy minimizes damage to healthy tissues, it often leads to fewer side effects compared to traditional radiation therapy. Patients may experience less fatigue, skin irritation, and damage to the lungs or heart. C. Higher radiation dose. Proton therapy can deliver a higher radiation dose to the tumor while sparing healthy tissues potentially improving treatment outcomes. However, it's essential to note that proton therapy may not be suitable for all mesothelioma patients. The availability of proton therapy centers can also be limited, and it is a costly treatment option. Therefore, its use should be carefully considered in consultation with a medical team. Immunotherapy for peritoneal mesothelioma Immunotherapy is a groundbreaking approach to cancer treatment that harnesses the body's immune system to target and destroy cancer cells. While it has shown remarkable success in treating various cancers, its application in mesothelioma, especially peritoneal mesothelioma, is a topic of ongoing research. Immunotherapy relies on several different strategies, including checkpoint inhibitors, CARDI cell therapy, and cancer vaccines. To combat cancer, each approach aims to enhance the body's immune response against cancer cells. Immunotherapy for peritoneal mesothelioma is still in its early stages, but some promising developments have occurred. A. Checkpoint inhibitors. Drugs like pembrolizumab and nivolumab, which are checkpoint inhibitors, have shown potential in treating mesothelioma by blocking certain proteins that prevent the immune system from recognizing and attacking cancer cells. B. CARDI cell therapy, chimeric antigen receptor D cell therapy, CARDI involves modifying a patient's T cells to target specific proteins on cancer cells. While this approach is more commonly associated with blood cancers, it is being explored as a potential treatment for solid tumors, including peritoneal mesothelioma. C. Cancer vaccines. Vaccines like CRS-207 are designed to stimulate the immune system to recognize and target mesothelioma cells. It's essential to understand that immunotherapy is not a one-size-fits-all solution, 
and its efficacy can vary from patient to patient. Clinical trials are ongoing to determine the best combination of immunotherapy drugs and their effectiveness in treating peritoneal mesothelioma. Epithelial mesothelioma treatment Epithelial mesothelioma is the most common subtype of mesothelioma and is often considered more treatable than other forms. Standard treatment options for epithelial mesothelioma include surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy. A. Surgery. Surgery aims to remove as much of the tumor as possible. In cases of epithelial mesothelioma, surgical resection is often more feasible compared to other subtypes. Procedures like pleurectomy slash decodication, P slash D, or extrapleural pneumonectomy, EP, may be considered. B. Chemotherapy A chemotherapy with drugs like cisplatin and pemetrexed is a standard treatment for mesothelioma. For epithelial mesothelioma, it can be particularly effective in reducing tumor size and slowing the progression of the disease. C. Radiation therapy Radiation therapy may be used to target any remaining cancer cells after surgery or to provide palliative care to relieve symptoms. Mesothelioma Mesothelioma treatment immunotherapy as mentioned earlier. Immunotherapy is being explored as a potential treatment for mesothelioma, including pleural and peritoneal mesothelioma. While it has shown promise, it is not yet considered a standard first-line treatment. Immunotherapy may be used in combination with other treatments like chemotherapy or surgery depending on the patient's individual circumstances. Clinical trials are ongoing to assess the effectiveness of immunotherapy and improving outcomes for mesothelioma patients. Immunotherapy drugs for mesothelioma Several immunotherapy drugs are under investigation for the treatment of mesothelioma. Some of the notable drugs include a. Pembrolizumab. This checkpoint inhibitor has shown promise in treating mesothelioma by blocking the PD-1 protein, which can inhibit the body's immune response against cancer cells. B. Nivolumab Another checkpoint inhibitor, nivolumab, has been studied in clinical trials for its potential to treat mesothelioma. C. CRS-207 this experimental cancer vaccine is being tested in combination with chemotherapy to stimulate the immune system's response to mesothelioma cells. D. Ipilimumab. This drug targets the CDLA4 protein and is being explored in combination with other immunotherapies for mesothelioma treatment. Side effects of immunotherapy for mesothelioma While immunotherapy holds promise, it can also be associated with side effects. These side effects can vary depending on the specific immunotherapy drug used and how an individual's body responds. Common side effects may include A. Fatigue B. Skin rashes C. Diarrhea D. Nausea E. Loss of appetite F. Immune-related adverse events, such as thyroid dysfunction or colitis. It's crucial for patients undergoing immunotherapy to have close monitoring by their medical team to manage any side effects promptly. In some cases, the treatment may need to be adjusted or temporarily halted to address these issues. Conclusion Mesothelioma remains a challenging cancer to treat due to its aggressive nature and late-stage diagnosis. However, advances in medical science have introduced promising treatment options such as proton therapy and immunotherapy. Proton therapy offers precision and reduced side effects, while 